So here we're going to create a bar chart of this data. But before we do that, we need to um, calculate the mean ratio for the aquatic birds and the mean ratio for the terrestrial birds. And we do that with an Excel equation. We select all of the mean for all of the values that we're interested in, the mean, and we do the same for the terrestrial group. And we can also calculate the standard deviation for these as well. So now that we have those calculations done, we're actually going to create a bar chart. So if you click on Insert, choose a 2D, not a 3D, column chart. And this gives you a window for creating the chart. Now we're going to select the data we want to use. And to make this straightforward, we're just going to select the title, or the headings for these two columns, and then also the values under them and click OK. So this gives us a working chart. Now, one of the things we might want to do is we might want to change what the title says under each of these bar charts. So we can actually um, go back to select data and under the horizontal category access labels, we can choose um, to put in whatever we want. So now it's kind of changed to aquatic and terrestrial. We also want to get rid of the chart title because we're going to put a caption on this. We would also like to add a x-axis identifier and a y-axis identifier. So to do that, we go up to add chart element and we want to put in a primary horizontal axis title. So here we're going to call it bird habitat. And we also want to insert other access title. So this is going to be the mean beak depth to head depth ratio. So there we have our basic chart. We can also, we can delete these grid lines if we want, and you can add other chart elements to it here. Um, you can also click on text and actually change the text options. You can make it bigger or different fonts, and you can do the same with your axis numbers and things like that so that it's visually the way you want it to be. So that's how to create a basic bar chart in Excel.